Take two. All right, so it's Miss Sampson here, and I have two very special anonymous, anonymous students helping me out. Do you guys want to say hello? No. no. No? Okay, they don't want to say hi to you. Um, today, we are going to be focusing on translating the work that we've done with the Hetch Hetchy controversy and writing our essays. And I'm going to give you a concrete example. So, we are going to take a look at my graphic organizer. I decided already that I actually just want to stick with the claim that we should keep the Hetch Hetchy Reservoir. Um, I think my evidence is stronger, so my decision is I'm going to do this for my entire essay. So that I already have something really easy that I can do. I can write my claim statement, and I actually already said it. We'll see if our anonymous students caught it. What is the claim that I decided to go with? We should keep the Hetch, the Hetch Hetchy Reservoir. Totally. We should keep the Hetch Hetchy Reservoir. I think you so confusing. I don't know. I'll have to do it to us. <laughs> so, now that we have our claim, we, we see that we have a lot of evidence here, and so it might be tempting to just start filling in our evidence, but we actually can't do that yet. The first thing that we have to do after we've come up with the claim and we've read through our work is we're going to try to think of two topic sentences. And if we remember, a topic sentence is the main argument of the paragraph, and it uses different transition phrases. Um, and that topic sentence has a claim plus a focus statement. So if we go back to our work here, we have a number of different pieces of evidence, and we have to try to figure out what kind of, what kind of generalizations can we make so that we can put them into two topic sentences. So we're going to trade off reading the pieces of evidence. Why don't you go first? The Hetch Hetchy water system mm -hmm. provides water to 2.4 million people in the San Francisco and several surrounding countries. That's just counties. <laughs> the next one is, it also generates 1.7 billion kilowatts of hours of hydroelectricity. The water is incredibly clean and does not require expensive filtering. And the last piece of evidence. The estimated cost of tearing down the dam, dam ranges from 3 to 10 billion dollars. Great. So right now we have an opportunity to try to think about what two buckets can we put all of these pieces of evidence into. Um, because we already said that we should keep the Hetch Reservoir but now we have to say why. And so as we talked about with our topic sentence right away we put the claim. So I know I can say for this first topic sentence, right away I can say, first of all, we should keep the Hetch Hetchy Reservoir because, and for my second topic sentence, I can do the same exact thing. Oh, it's already there, I see. Second of all, and we'll restate the claim. But my two special student volunteers, can you guys help me work through this? So we have four pieces of evidence. Do you see any trends in the evidence that could help me come up with a topic sentence? Number three and number four talk about how taking down the Hetch Hetchy Reservoir is very expensive. Oh, okay. And do you see another trend? The trend is about how much they produce. Can you say that one more time? For number one, number two, they talk about how much they produce and what they give out. What what is what um how much what the Hetch Hetchy produces? Yeah. Oh, what does it do? It produces water for two point four million people and one point seven billion kilowatt hours of hydroelectricity. Oh, so do you think that the evidence for one and two go together and the evidence for three and four kind of go together? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So if that's the case. Let's focus on our first topic sentence. We say, first of all, we should keep the Hetch Hetchy Reservoir because, why do you think we should keep it? What's the main idea between these two pieces of evidence? It provides 2.4 million people in San Francisco and several surrounding counties with water. And 1.7 billion kilowatt hours of hydroelectricity. Great. And you know what you guys just did is you <coughs> restated the pieces of evidence. But we can actually get more specific in the paragraph. 
do you know if you could come up with a sentence that's a little bit more general? Like, first of all, we should keep the Hetch Hetchy Reservoir because... It provides water, water and, and electricity. electricity. Perfect. Okay, so we have a really good topic sentence, and we now know that we could put evidence number one and evidence number two in these spots. Perfect. Let's look at our topic sentence number two. So we already said that the Hetch Hetchy water system provides water and electricity. What can we say for these two pieces of evidence? Second of all, tearing down the Hetch Hetchy Reservoir could take billions of dollars and then even more money to get a new filtering system. Okay. I love the detail that you added there, but again, I think we'll probably put that at the bottom of the sentence. So right now we have, second of all, tearing down the Hetch Hetchy Reservoir. Will cost... Billions of dollars. Billions of dollars. And we know that because quote number four talks about how it costs billions of dollars and quote number three is also about, oh, it's also about being expensive. So that makes sense. It's all about money. Yeah, it's all about money. So now we have our two main ideas. Our claim is we should keep the Hetch Hetchy Reservoir. And then first of all, we should keep the Hetch Hetchy Reservoir because it provides water and electricity. Then we'll give our evidence <clears throat> and reasoning for that paragraph. And then, second of all... Second of all, tearing up the Hetch Hetchy Reservoir will cost billions of dollars. Okay. Very good. Thank you both so much for your help today. Any any send-offs? you want to say goodbye? No? No, they don't want to say goodbye. Good Christmas, Alice. <laughs> and Kathy. <laughs> Bye.